If you look at what's going on in society today, it's really important that students have a higher level of science, engineering, mathematics, literacy. Even if they don't go into this as a field, we live in the 21st century and it's a technology-infused world. Every country we talk to all reflect in one way or another that STEM education is critical for their nation's success. When I first came to HP, I was amazed. Here I had studied engineering, but I really didn't know what engineers did until I came to HP. It's not at all like the problem sets we were doing in school. Not only is there not one right answer, I didn't even know what the question was. And I thought, oh my gosh, students should not graduate being as ill-informed as I was. What I really like to do is help faculty use technology in powerful ways to create new learning experiences for students so that students are more successful. The HP Catalyst Initiative is a network of over 56 organizations who are exploring the future of STEM learning and teaching. STENM is an incomplete acronym. We talk about STEM plus, because there's computer science, you know, computational thinking, creativity, and it has many aspects. So we're exploring it in six different themes. Things like the future of online learning, measuring learning, the new learner, global collaboration. The students that have an experience of doing math and engineering and science in collaboration with students across cultures and time zones, those are the students that are going to be well ahead of everybody else. If we do this right, there won't be students like me out of college kind of wondering what they're all about and wondering what it is they just studied. And hopefully through the Catalyst Initiative we can create examples of how this could happen.